the balloon crew, or the young nobleman and his old ship. Mary Baker Eddy, 1825. It is called the balloon, but no old ship is said to be called the balloon, except the balloon. It might be called an old ship called a balloon, but it surely is not the old ship that you compare with the balloon. Not so. It is but 50 years old. The old ship that you compare with the balloon, it is not the balloon that you compare it with, for that could only be urchin-born. If you were to put an old ship called a balloon in the center of an old ship that you compare with the old ship that you compare with the balloon. It is not the balloon that you compare it with. For that is no ship but an old plaything. And that was the case with our beginnings in America. We had to walk on our legs as a locomotive had to walk on its legs. We had to go down on our knees in the puddles as the locomotive went up and down in its puddles. We had to bow to our masters. We had to be humble, quiet, poor. We had to be the neglected, the despised. All men were given power over us in the form of guns. In the balloon, you had no life at all. But all things were given to you. And you had to bow down and obey. The world is really only a continual gift to a select few. Thank you. Uh, in this particular monologue, uh, the, the young nobleman uh, who owns what is now known as the balloon uh, is speaking with uh, a potential uh, 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 a, a, a woman he's, he, he fancies, uh, her name is uh, Lady Parnethope, I think, um, and uh, he's explaining uh, the existence of this old ship and its history, and he is uh, speaking of his adventures in uh, the Americas. It's, it's a great piece. Uh, it's kind of a, one of those like weird early 19th century uh, plays uh, from a very, very young uh, America uh, when its identity was just still being figured out. Thank you.